Early childbearing is becoming a social norm in Gusi village, a place where even elementary school children get pregnant. A number of them drop out, they don't come to school. Yeah, that's the first problem I have here. And when they are out there, they are helpless. Some are abandoned by their parents because when they get pregnant, because of the annoyance, they abandon them. Here in the government high school, five pregnancy cases have been reported this academic year. In this school, there are about 25 young girls who decided to come back to study after their babies were born. Nine of them accepted their faces to be seen and their stories heard. I was in form three when I got pregnant. So when I got pregnant, my parents rejected me. So the young man who pregnanted me, I went to him, he also rejected me. So I suffered for the pregnancy a lot and I struggled alone to buy things for the baby. So after that, I delivered the baby. If parents who stand by their pregnant teens are few, boys who accept responsibility for a pregnancy are few. When I got pregnant, my parents were not happy with me. They asked me to show them the person who is responsible for the pregnancy. And when we got there, the boy who was responsible for the pregnancy denied the pregnancy. So my parents and I struggled for the pregnancy until I delivered the child. After the child was delivered, the boy came back and pleaded with my parents. And my parents forgave forgive him and ask him to send me back to school. So the boy asked for my decision if I will go back to school or learn any trade. So I told the boy that I will go back to school. So they decided to put me back in form four. And so I'm so happy to be back in school and I want to continue my education until I get married before I will involve myself in such acts again. So I am in form two. The person that got me pregnant, I told him that I want to go to school. He told me that no, I will learn a trick. I told him that I don't want to learn a trick. I first of all learn a trick. I want to go to school. I want to know what education is. I've learned from my friends that education is the key to success. So my parents said that if he does not want to send me to school, I should come back. So my parents decided to send me to school. The reasons why young girls get pregnant in Gusi are as many as they are diverse. We are ignorant all because we love money. That is why we find ourselves into relationship which we don't want to belong to, but just because of money. Our parents, sometimes they contribute to the pregnancy or teenage of today we have because they just let us free and some of our parents do not have time to even question us to sit and put us and say my child it is like this it is like this you should be careful you should be this even if you have to do it be careful with the way you will do it but most of them they don't do it this market is part of the problem. The girls want money to buy the things they fancy, money which their parents cannot provide. Farming is the main activity and only source of income for most of the people here. They do not make enough money to provide basic needs for their daughters. Their girls, therefore, tend to trade their bodies for money. 
Motorbike riders are responsible for most of the pregnancies. The young girls engage in early dating without adequate knowledge of safe sex. And when sex lands them in trouble, they do not have a place to turn to for help. They have limited access to reproductive health information and services. This is the nearest health facility from where they can seek help. Teenagers are not regular clients here. We offer the family planning that so many uh, or, uh, uh, services that we do. We do, uh, we start with condom, which is a double protection. We go with uh, Jade, which is an implant. We go with uh, an IUD, which is still an implant. They call it copper T. We start, we go with uh, COC, which is the tablet that they use that in three circles. We have uh, the depot, which is an injectable type that we offer here in this center. All are being offered here. I have mothers who come for, for it. Just a few teenagers that their parents bring them here for it come, but they are still timid. Teenagers are still timid for, but yet I still receive them in pregnancy. The state of the facility reflects the quality of services offered here. Without a youth center where teenagers here can have fun and receive counseling, they amuse themselves in other ways. The young people in Gusi, as elsewhere in the country, are abandoned to themselves. Their sexual and reproductive health and rights is definitely not a policy priority. The Center for Media and Strategic Communication in Yaoundé was here on the 7th of March 2016 to raise awareness about the consequences of unsafe sex. It was their little way of pledging gender parity and inclusiveness. The students were eager to learn about the benefits of delaying the onset of sexual activity and the consequences of having unsafe sex. They danced to the rhythm of the campaign theme song. They also pledged to practice what they have learned. The school authorities welcomed the initiative and found it very useful. Today, we have received not only computers, but we have received knowledge that will keep you and me alive. Is that not true? Yeah. That is the most important thing. And I'm happy you have promised that what will not happen here, no one, 
The event was rich in sound and color. I'm on a matter of a demon, baby. I suck a ball. 